Welcome to the Student User Guide step-by-step -step tutorial series. During this module, we're going to cover step two, creating your profile. So in order to build your profile, I'm going to show you how you can establish your preferred language. You can opt in for accessibility features. You can download the official Sonia app. You can update your emergency contact, and you can even specify a major or track, a preferred internship region, or even a specific focus. So let's get started. So now that you're already logged into Sonia, let's build our profile. Let me make this bigger. Okay, so I already went over in module one how to do the very basics of building your profile, but we'll go over that again. So just click on this settings cog right here in the upper right hand corner. Few things you can change here. You can establish your language. You can click this box here to enhance accessibility, or you can use this QR code with your phone and download the Sonya app, whether it be in the App Store or Google Play. So that's the first place you might wanna make some changes. The other thing that you might wanna do is click on the My Details tab. And this will take you to this page where you can establish your emergency contact. So you see here it says next of kin. So you could put their name, the relationship they have to you, contact details, email, phone number. In the event something happens to you, that's very helpful for your instructor of your course or even your preceptor to contact that person in the event something happens. God forbid, of course. Then underneath that, you can establish your either focus or major. So for example, if you're in the Master of Public Health program, you definitely want to establish your track here. So just click on Add New Topic. And then you can see here there's a drop down menu. And in the Masters of Public Health program, there's a biostats, epi, and a policy and administration and social behavioral track. So you can choose any of those tracks. But if you're an undergraduate, you're either in the public health general track or you're in kinesiology. So go ahead and click public health general. And then you just click the little check mark here. And voila, that's officially established, at least just in Sonia, and for your field education coordinator to see, okay, this person has a public health track. The reason why this is kind of important is if you're struggling with finding an internship and you meet with your field education coordinator, they can look up your profile and say, oh, okay, um, this student is on the public health track, they're looking for an internship in Washoe County, and their focus is substance use or something like that. And that really helps them navigate you towards an appropriate internship. So like I said before, you can also establish the region. So just click add new region. And there's some options here. I will say this menu might change. These are just regions that we've had students in the past. So we might be building this list up a little bit more, but you can at least indicate whether, you know, you're looking for an internship in Carson City or Clark County, or you're okay to just stay in Washoe County type of thing. And then you can also establish your focus. And there's a huge list for this. So these are just kind of overarching foci, you know, and you can choose as many as you want to. So for example, I said substance use before, that's an interest of mine, so save. And then you can add another one if you want to. So maybe substance youth and substance use and youth. There you go. Okay, so that's really all you have when it comes to building your official profile. Now let's move on to module three, which really gets into the meat of potatoes of finding an actual internship. 